Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be getting back, finally, into our declutter series. It took a while because I have to set it all up and it's a whole process, it's, you know. But we're here. We are going to be decluttering my sing- I'm going to say single shadows because that's kind of the way I always call them. Not single shadows in palettes like the ones that you make yourself, the magnetic ones, all those. Not those ones. These are shadows that are like in individual little pots. Not pick ones, I've already done those. Ones that are like haven't decluttered or can't declutter, ones that are creams, ones that are super shock shadows, um, liquid shadows. I have like small little quads as well in that drawer. It's basically the whole drawer is going to be basically done in this video. So it's all those things is going to be decluttered. I haven't actually filmed it yet. I'm filming it tomorrow. I'm doing my intro and outro today because I filmed this look today. But so I don't know how it's going to go. I have no idea. I obviously will begin by showing you guys what the drawer looks like beforehand and then we will go into after once it's all done and before the outro as well. But I'm excited because a lot of the cream shadows need to go, they're like dry or I just don't use them. Um, I have a lot of like um, my P. Louise bases and things like that. Just lots of things that I don't use in that drawer that I think need to go, need to go. And anything that I feel like I can depot, I need to. Because I do, I do have some MAC shadows in there that can be depotted, I know how to do that. I just haven't done it because I'm too lazy. So that's basically what we're going to do in this video. I don't even know how many I have to start with, but I'll go through that at the beginning of the actual declutter in this video. And I'm excited. I'm excited to get back into it. I'm excited to reorganize. I'm in a reorganizing mood. So that's why we're doing it. I'm excited to have things that I know I'm going to like and know I'm going to use and see if I'm missing anything and I want to buy something else. Who knows? Just before we get into the actual declutter, my look is filmed. I did film this look and it will be live on my channel soon-ish. I don't really know when I po post anything really. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll be live after this video. Not straight after, but soon after this video. So go hit subscribe down below to see that as well. And my Instagram is linked down below where I post all my up close eye pictures and full face pictures of all of my looks. And my TikTok is down there where I post a little bit of extra content for you guys. So go follow both of those below. All right, so get your cup of tea, sit down, put me on in the background, who knows? This could be a long one. So let's get into the declutter. Okay guys, we are here. We are going to get back into our declutter series. And as I said in the beginning, this is like my small little palettes, like my little quads and stuff like that. I just don't put in with my, the rest of my palettes. Individual shadows that are in little pots, cream shadows, super shock shadows, liquid shadows, stick shadows. Um, bases, all that kind of stuff, as in like P. Louise bases, the coloured ones, are all in this one drawer. So we are going to go through it all and we are going to see what we're going to keep. We are going to start with the little palettes because they're big and bulky and I, I just want to kind of go through these first. We'll go into our individual shadows and then our super shocks, then creams, then sticks, then liquids. And that's how we're going to work it through, I think, anyway. Um, and you would have seen already what it looked like beforehand. And I will show you at the end what it looks like once it's organised. So these are all random. I'm probably going to get rid of a good few of these. Um, because I just don't use them. I never pick them out. So there's a couple that I will keep. I know I will keep. But I will probably get rid of a few of them. So let's just start down the line. We have got Makeup Revolution. Um, what is this? Mini Shadow Palette. I got this in an Advent calendar. I am probably going to get rid of this because I just don't just don't use it it's pretty it is really nice but there's a sequin shade in here these colors are lovely but there is literally one matte and it's a light brown i don't know what to do with that so i'm gonna get rid of this one next up, we've got this quad that i got in a glossy box i think this is sophia and mabel eyeshadow quad and um, that's the box off it this is the actual palette that's inside the aphrodite palette this one is Again, quite cheap packaging, um, just not colours I'm going to use. I have these colours and other things and I'm not going to keep this one either. Then I have this one which I also got in a glossy box. Remember when I always used to get glossy box? It was great sometimes, but this is the reason you just kind of get things that aren't that good or that good for me in my collection. This is Trifle Cosmetics, the Praline palette. This is cute. It's all shimmer and very jewel tone grungy. So I think in a smoky eye, this would be lovely. But again, I just, I'm not going to pick this out over something else I'm going to pick. If there's a palette with these colours in it that I have, that I know that I love the formula of, I'm probably going to pick that as well. Like, I mean, they're nice, but they're like not 
special enough for me to keep this as a small palette basically so we are gonna get rid of that one as well I don't know for sure how many things I'm gonna get rid of as I say in every video this one here is a Hello Kitties from Claire's or no from H&M sorry Hello Kitty palette very dirty and well used and you can see which color I used the most when I was a teenager I used this when I was like 14 um, all the time because I actually won it in school we had like a little lucky dip kind of thing if you got a question right you got to pick out of a bag and I picked this which was great because it was the only makeup product in there which helped my addiction I kind of want to keep it for the nostalgia I never use it like the colors are nice they're fine but I never really use it but I kind of want to keep it just for my 14 year old self knowing that I have it so I think I'm going to keep this even though I'm probably never going to use it and then we've got these three these are little sleek palettes again I got these in advent calendars they're basically like really tiny look how tiny that is it's so small tiny versions of their eye divine palettes and I'll tell you which ones are which now in a second so this one down here is all night long we have got gleaming in gold and I have got storm yes storm Storm is one of the eye divine palettes that I really wanted for years um like the, the, the proper size one and then I got the advent calendar and I got it in it so I was very excited and it's a lovely little palette this one I'm probably just not going to use I don't this is a very bridal sort of palette and I just don't use these kind of colors that often and I've got if I have a neutral look I want to do I've got better shades for it plus they're tiny they're so small so I'm gonna get rid of this one and then this one is an all shimmer gold palette and to be fair, at least this one, this one, this one, and this one look the same. And this one look the same. This one and this one look the same. And this one and this one look the same. So it's just very repetitive. I don't see why you had to do 12 golds in a palette and with no mats as well. So I'm going to get rid of that one. But I am going to keep this one. I'm going to keep Storm because I've always wanted it. I love that kind of green. I love the bluey tones in it as well. You do have a champagne sort of shade and a couple of mats. Not enough mats for me now, but. I think I will keep it because I've always, always wanted it. Then this one is actually very recent in my collection. This is Rowan and this is the Eyes On Me Quad. I got this in my most recent, was it my Look Fantastic or my Cult Beauty? It was one of them. And um, this is beautiful. So you've got two kind of like creamed powder eyeshadows up here. These kind of coppery sort of tones. These kind of coppery sort of tones up here. So more of a copper and more of a champagne or like light pinky champagne. You've got a matte burnt orange and then this beautiful sparkle so pretty I'm gonna keep this I love the packaging on it as well gonna keep this because it is very recent in my collection and that shimmer is beautiful it's a reason enough to keep this palette on its own but I think it's an interesting little palette I think it's fun a bit more editorial kind of style looks you'll get with this but I actually really enjoy it next up, I've got this Colourpop palette and I got this in a mystery box this is the bear it all palette it's an all matte neutral palette she's lovely do i want to keep it though will i actually use it? i have used it a couple of times just for kind of like going to work quickly do i want to keep it do you know what? i'm going to keep it and then the next time i do decoder i'll see how much i've used it but i have used it a few times i know that from when i got my mystery box so i will keep this one. Oh, this i'm definitely keeping i love this so much this is the mac pro eye palettes so they're all creams and this is the dame palette and this is just your grungy murky victorian sort of palette all cream shades and you've kind of got like a lovely peachy sort of like muted peach a almost mustard but kind of more taupey you do have a taupe down here two greys a light and a darker and this gorgeous bloody burgundy down here as well this i love so much i love it around halloween i love it for doing quick grungy looks very editorial as well you know that kind of greasy like oily kind of eyelid as well i love this palette so much good contours as well for certain things and also for me a good zombie palette nice little zombie palette so if you've got a pro mac pro store around and want a, a easy small little zombie or bruisey palette this is a great one. and then last two for these we have got catrice this is the absolute eye color hollywood's fabulous 40s palette i've had this 100 years um i'm gonna get rid of this but kind of it's still gonna be in my house because i'm probably gonna give this to my mom i think she'll actually really like these colors um she loves catrice eyeshadows and wants to get more into mattes she's a shimmer girl but wants to get more into mattes and um, there is a satiny kind of finisher well the mattes are technically satin finishes this is more like a soft shimmer and i think she'll actually really like this i think she these are the kind of colors she tends to go for as well and then last for our little palettes we've got luvia luvia eyeshadow palette 
This one is, doesn't have a name, doesn't have a name. And it's just a little duo. Again, I think I got it in either an advent calendar or a glossy box. These are beautiful. This is very like Embark from MAC as well. This is like a lovely copper shade. I'm not gonna use it, am I? Tell me now, I'm not gonna use this. No, I think, yeah, I think I'll get rid of this. I think I have friends who will definitely enjoy this more and because it's so small as well, but it's just not something I'm ever going to like, if I'm about to film or do my makeup, I don't dip in and be like, oh, where's that lovely palette? That's not what I do. Okay, so we're done with our little palettes and quads and all that kind of stuff. So in total, I had 12 and this is my to-go pile, which is seven, and I've got five, which I'm very happy with. That's like over half of them gone. Very happy with that. No, I didn't need to keep them all, but I do like them, so we're keeping them. Okay, so next we've got our individual little shadows here. Mixture of MAC, um, we've got some Sleek, we've got some Catrice, we've got some Ingla, some NYX, a little bit of everything. There's a little bit of everything here. If you want to know where I get these containers from, they're from Ikea. You get them in a little pack and you they fit the Alex drawers perfectly. Well, the small Alex drawers perfectly. Kind of have to wiggle room them into the big Alex drawer, but it works out for me. You'll see how I have it organized at the end. Well, you've already seen it a little bit, but you'll see how to organize it properly at the end. And they're perfect. They're great. I love them so much. You just buy a little pack and I think I bought like 12 packs of them and they're brilliant. So where will we start? I think I'll just take things out, put them by brand and then we will go into it. It is organized. Doesn't look it, but to me it's organized. I can see what everything is now. So we're going to go through some miscellaneous, which is this little section just here because these are all just like ones or twos of things that I have. Um, yeah, let's just go through. So one I know I'm keeping is my Illamasqua eyeshadow. This is the shade Jubilance. It is so beautiful and so sparkly. She's stunning, just so beautiful. So I'm definitely keeping this. I've got my little box here. I'm just gonna pop the ones I'm keeping here and then anything I'm not keeping, I'm gonna pop over here. And um, we've got these, which I'm gonna get rid of. These are the Academy of Color eyeshadows. And um, there's no names on them. They're cheap. I think I got them in an advent calendar. Really cute. Like these are the kind of things I started doing makeup on, definitely. And um, I had little palettes like this that I got from probably a similar brand, if not the same brand, years and years ago. And I love doing makeup because for me, it was easy for me to like learn how to do like my crease and my lid and my inner corner and then my crease and my outer corner and my lid. Like very easy. So these are great, but I just don't need them now. My collection is different. My preferences are different. So I don't need them. I've got this one here, which I got in a little set. It was like with the bronzer and a, a body shimmer kind of thing. This is sun kissed. It's just a bronzy gold. It's stunning, but I just, I'm not gonna go into my single eyeshadows for this kind of color. I just, I very rarely wear a bronze eyeshadow as it is. So we're gonna get rid of that. This one, I'm definitely gonna keep. This one is from V Cosmetics. I got it in their Halloween mystery box. This is called Jareth. And it was actually my first ever multi-chrome. Can you see it? Stunning. Um, it kind of goes from like a shifty blue into a gorgeous grassy green and then a slight bit of purple as well, depending on what way the light hits it. Um, I'm definitely keeping this because it's probably my first like really special eyeshadow like that. I've got this guy, which I like, but I think I have it in an Ingla palette. This is an Ingla eyeshadow. This is in five, what is it? No, three, four, eight. I remember getting a goodie bag when the store in my city opened and I was like one of the first people there and we got goodie bags, me and my friends went and she got a different eyeshadow to me, which I already had. So we swapped and I got this one. It's a really nice gray though. It is lovely. It's a lovely tone of gray. I'm tempted to keep it, honestly. I think I will keep it. I'll keep it for now. Ones I definitely know I'm getting rid of again. This is the body shop. This is in the shade Glittery Night. Just like a black, um, not quite sequin, but not quite metallic. It's kind of in between. Um, nice sparkly black. I'm not gonna use it. I have colors like this and I don't, if I go for black, I tend to go for matte. This one as well, this is color concept eyeshadow. There's no shade in this. This is a really cheap eyeshadow that I have. Just a nice purple lilac kind of shade. But again, not gonna keep it. We're gonna get rid. I've got my gorgeous KVD Beauty. This is in the shade Thrasher. Um, I done the most beautiful, if I do say so myself. Autumn look with this, like autumn antique kind of look with like a, a burgundy waterline. And I love how this looks. I'm definitely gonna keep this. Then I've got these two guys. So I've got this, which I wore the life out of when I was like 13. Um, and I still have it, yes. This is in the shade Mink and I think I'm gonna keep it. I love this kind of color. I love it just for like a wash over the eye. My mom might steal this on me. If I show it to her, she'll probably steal this on me. So I'll keep it for now and then she may also have it. And then I've got this gorgeous neutral as well. This kind of tone of a neutral beige that I like where it's cool tone, kind of leans into a taupey sort of shade, but still light enough that could be a blending color on me. I'm gonna keep it. 
because I do really like that kind of shade. Okay, so now we're going to do Kiko and Essence. So let's start with Kiko. I've got these guys here, which I bought when I was in Italy with my best friend. Um, they're supposed to be magnetic, but I don't have a palette that fits them. So, or are you supposed to pop them in? So I don't know. This is a lovely brown. I kind of want to keep this one. I don't think I'm going to keep the other two, but I think I'm going to keep that one. Um, this one I'm not going to keep. This is just like a beige and I have 100 million beiges and it's a sequin shade. I'm just not going to keep that. And this is a gorgeous shimmery lilac shade. It's beautiful. But again, I'm just, I'm not going to reach into my, into this drawer for this sort of colour. I'm going to just pull out a palette or a single shadow. And then I've got this. This is really interesting. And I've got one of these from MAC as well as that one over here. This is the, what is it called? This is the Magnetic Eyeshadow. This is Fall 2.0 is the shade. Or 01, sorry. And it's a Magnetic Eyeshadow. Look how cool that is. You can literally scoop this all out. Because it's not pressed. It's like loose particles. But they're kind of magnetic and they stick. You can scoop this out onto like a table and then literally just do this and it goes straight back in like this very cool i love this i'm gonna keep this i think it's beautiful and really interesting and i will be keeping my mac one as well because you'll see how gorgeous that one is for my essence i'm gonna get rid of this i just don't use it it has like a gold overspray that's kind of gone now and it's not as special as it looks in the pan it's lovely it's a gorgeous like rosy gold sort of shade but it's just not not something i use not something i ever grab this one i loved for ages i always did a gray smoky eye with this it's beautiful it kind of reminds me of the old mac mineralized eyeshadows in cinder fella i think was the shade and it's that kind of marbleized texture sparkly kind of gray gun metal gorgeous but i don't use it so she's gotta go and then i've got this one this is from it's like the rock glam rock collection this is years old this is pink punk and it's like this gorgeous mauvey sort of shade. And I think I'm going to keep this one. I do really like that shade. I think I'm going to I actually use that shade. Halloween when I done my spider web sort of look. That spooky season. I actually use that colour. Okay, so now we're going to get into Catrice and Sleek. And let's just go. I've got this one here, which is... What is this one called? Come on, Chameleon. It's kind of crumbly and broken. It's kind of like MAC Club eyeshadow where it has that blue-brown reflex to it but very soft and subtle. I'm gonna get rid of it, I don't use it. And then I've got this shade here. This is on the taupe of M Matt Everest. Very witty. This is just a beige. Again, I'm not gonna keep this because I've got that one from number seven and I've got many beigey kind of shades. So we're gonna get rid of that. And I've got this one here. This is the liquid metal eyeshadow in the shade. We are the champagnes. I love Catrice, they're so punny. And this is a nice champagne gold and I'm very tempted to keep this one because I love the texture of this eyeshadow. It's kind of like, I don't know how to describe it, almost a cream but not cream. It's not even as creamy as a Super Shock shadow but almost there. I really like that one. So I think I'm going to keep that one. Am I just keeping a lot of neutrals? I feel like I am. Then I've got these three here. We've got a gorgeous metallic silver. I don't think I'm going to use it but I kind of want to keep it. <laughs> well I've got this one and I've got this one which is a metallic like charcoal sort of shade as well. And then this one is like one of those marbleized ones again. Oops, and it's broken. One of the marbleized ones in a light blue. So I think I'm going to get rid of the blue. Am I? Yes. I'm going to get rid of the blue because I'm not going to use it. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I don't use them. I just don't use them, honestly. So we're just going to have to bite the bullet and get rid of them. Now I've got these sleek ones. And I got these in the advent calendar. And these are stunning eyeshadows. They're so sparkly and beautiful. So you can kind of see how they look there. And they're very true to colour. So I'm going to keep the gold and this kind of pewter sort of shade because I think they're gorgeous and um, I'm going to keep this plummy shade and so I'm not going to keep this one the kind of more golden brown because I've got that gold there I'm between these two here and I don't know which one I want and I kind of want to keep both of them honestly I'm actually gonna get rid of the red one I think because if I'm going to use a red I want it to be stronger than this and I have one by MAC and you'll see it in a second you can probably kind of see it right there I know I probably use that more than this and they're kind of similar tones so I'm going to keep these four and I'm going to get rid of this one which is called rose gold the other one I got rid of is called bronzed goddess I'm keeping golden bronze crystal glam purple and antique gold so they're the ones i'm keeping i should have probably done this the other way around and used my little box for my to keep pile because <laughs> my big box is still kind of like almost empty and um, my get rid of box is very full so let's do nyx i think i'm gonna get rid of a few of these and then we'll be on to mac so i'm just gonna open them all so we can see what we have to work with here i never use these so i'll probably get rid of them all to be honest with you i got these in advent calendar as well I just these all out and open so you can see them the only one there i can see myself actually using if i am to use any of them 
is this dark purple. That's the only one. I don't use like warm brown kind of shades like this, coppery shades. I just don't grab them that often. Light pink I have. This kind of grey is not shiny enough for me and a beige. So I think I'm going to get rid of all of these. These ones. I'm going to keep that one purple because I kind of just like the look of it and I love that kind of purple. Okay, now onto MAC. So a few of these I can depot and pop them into my MAC palette that I have. Um, which I probably will do for a few of them. Some of them I can't do um, and I'll point out which ones I can't do that with. But yeah, I can see myself keeping a few of these. So firstly, this one is one that I love so much. And is this in a pan? I can depot this. It's very dirty. Oh my God. This came out with the like fairy collection that they done. Um, I can't remember what it was called, but it was like a fairy collection. It's a foil shadow, sweet illusion. They don't do this formula anymore. It was only really for that collection. This is gorgeous. I love this kind of shade, very ethereal looking. And I'm gonna keep that one. Then I've got one of their, what are they? Dazzle shadows. So this one and this one, these are both dazzle shadows. And I'm keeping both of these because this is the most beautiful inner corner highlight when you're just doing something really simple. And then this one is like a brown with like a really strong green flex. This is actually quite new. I only recently got this one. So I'm gonna keep both of these. I'm keeping a few of the MAC ones. Next of like regular eyeshadows, this is Shell on there. And then this one is Steamy. I love Shell, but do I need it? Do I need Steamy? No, I don't need these. I think I'll get rid of these because I just have them other ways and I don't, I'm not bothered to potting them ones. <laughs> I don't know why. Next up then we've got a couple of Christmas, well, actually all the rest of these are Christmas collections to be fair. So I've got this one here which is Delicate Drift which is an extra dimension eyeshadow. These ones you can't depop because they're actually baked in onto a little pan, not in a metal pan that you can pop out. It's like a little tray that this has popped into. Trust me, I've broken one before it fell out so I know how it works. <laughs> um, and this is kind of like the show gold highlighter so it kind of goes from like a gold to a pink sheen to it if you can see that and um, this is the red i was talking about this was a christmas collection like two years ago or something like that the most beautiful like wet looking silver and then we've got this one here which is called cooler than being cool this one is like a white with like a pinky blue sheen through it as well so we are going to keep all of these and then these ones are also christmas collection about a year or two ago these are gorgeous this like this is what mac can do and they don't and they need to this is the kind of level that we're at now with makeup mac this is what we need because your regular shimmers don't cut it anymore they're not special anymore this is what we need these are like duochrome thick foily super sparkly wet looking like gorgeous these i want these i don't use them in videos because you can't get them and but i love them so much so we're going to keep them and these and then this is max version of the magnetic eyeshadow this is the spell binder eyeshadow and the shade swing on a star and this is so beautiful so again this is that magnetic particle sort of one and look at that it's like black wick but kind of mostly green you can kind of see it in the lids there as well it's so sparkly and it's like little purple glitters in it but it's mostly green and kind of teal as well do a black base pop this on the lid blend out with some sort of transition shade smoky liner and off you go you have a green sparkly most magical smoky eye okay i've done my tallying up for this one so we have got our to keep pile and our to go pile we started off with 48 and i've gotten rid of 23 and we are down to 25 individual eyeshadows and random things like that so i'm actually quite happy they will all fit in this one little container so i'll have space as well and these will go to new homes hopefully we are making progress guys i'm very happy with this so far so this is my cream shadow super shock shadow situation here we've got a few bits in here so let me put them again in brand order and we'll go through it that way Okay, so we're going to start with these guys here because these are all just one from each brand and yeah, um, I'm probably going to get rid of a few of these as well. So this one here is from Essence. This is, was the Ballerina Backstage Eye Souffle from that collection. This is in Pas de Copper. I think is how you pronounce it. I don't do French. Um, it's a gorgeous like champagne-y sort of shape, but I need to check as well. Are these still working? Oh, they are. Okay, that's what I'm going to do with a few of these. This is kind of like a creamed powder formula. I'm going to do a little swatch of them to see if they're still you know, creamy and not dried out. So I'm gonna get rid of it, but it still works. So I will give it to someone. I've got this one here. This is from, this is from Max Factor, which I don't have anything else from Max Factor, I don't think. This is Excess Shimmer in the shade Copper. It's not copper, it's champagne, but anyway. This is like almost like a, a weird jelly sort of formula. So let me just do a little swatch. Oh yeah. 
Oh, she's nice. <laughs> oh no. I kind of want to keep that. That's pretty. I think I'll keep that one. Then I've got this one here. This is from Mina. Is it Trina? Trina Cosmetics, the cream eyeshadow. This is in the shade 313. And what do we look like? Oh, you're kind of that similar kind of formula. But you're warmer. See, I wouldn't use that. I would use this though. Because if I'm going to go neutral, I kind of just go bare. If I, I mean, if I'm going to go neutral, I kind of just don't bother. I think I can get rid of that one. It's lovely though. My mom might like that one actually. This one here is from Lottie London and this is in Golden Hour. Oh, this is like a pressed pigment. Oh, messy, very messy. Oh God, no, it's going everywhere. Oh no. Oh, she's lovely, but no, 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 no. Someone else can have that. No, no, no. Just cleaned my table and it's gold. Okay, so next I'm gonna do Catrice because I've had these so many years. And I think I'm gonna have to get rid of them all, honestly, even though I really wanna keep them. Um, because they're old, but also I really want to keep them because I've got such good memories with these. Yes, yeah, see this one I really want to keep. I have to. I feel like I just have to for the name. These are the Made to Stay Long Lasting Eyeshadows. They're gorgeous, really textured. Please do not tell me you're still creamy and work. You do. Oh my God. I cannot believe that. I'm shocked. Okay, I'm going to keep this one because the shade name is uh, Lord of the Blings. Now I have to keep that, I just have to. I really, I want to get rid of them, but I also don't want to get rid of them. This one here is called Mauvy Star. Um, let's see what you look like. This is gorgeous as well. I can't believe these are still somewhat creamy. Oh, my mama liked that as well, actually. It's kind of more of like a dirty mauve. Really nice. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that one. And then this one is called Metal of Honor. And this one is more of like that antique kind of gold. See, I'm I'm just not going to use these nowadays because I just don't like that kind of look on my makeup. I do like a grungy look, but it's a shimmer base. Then I would be putting shadows on top and it makes everything else shimmery. I will only keep this one because one of the name and two, that if I am going to do a product like this, this is the kind of color I would go for. Just a simple, quick, once over the eye and that's all. So we're going to get rid of them too. And by the way, they last really well. Just saying. We'll do MAC because Super Shock is like you know, its own whole section. I've only got a few MAC ones. So let's see, we've got this one, which is an electric cool eyeshadow. It's, it's actually a very similar formula to a Super Shock shadow. It's very similar. Um, and this is a super sparkly, like clear silver. And I'm gonna keep it because it's beautiful. I've got this. Um, see, I just don't know if anyone actually would use this if I gave it to them. It's an eye gloss. It's from the Cinderella collection. It's a lovely color. It's so sticky for your eyes though. I have the MAC, um, it's like the shine cream. It's like a gel formula as opposed to this goop. Um, I love the idea of this and I love a glossy eye, but I think I'm just gonna get rid of it. I think it's time. I think I know makeup artists that will probably use it. And then I've got my beloved paint pots, which I use all the time. So we've got Taylor Grey, which I actually only used recently. Brand new, pretty much. Um, it's a gorgeous taupey grey base. Love that, we'll keep him. I rely so heavily for work on my painterly paint pots. No, no. This one is called Painterly, my paint pots. Painterly is like, just like your base color sort of one. And I love this, especially if I'm doing a reverse smoky eye, you will always see me use this because it gives the coverage over the eye as well, especially when you're not doing a whole lot of eyeshadow. And um, they're just quick, simple, easy bases, cream shadows, but they're bases as well. You can use them with shadows over top of them. They're just so handy. They're so quick and easy. And then I've got this one, which is brand new. And this one, I don't know why I thought this was gonna be more burgundy when I ordered this. This one is like the blue brown pigment. It's got that kind of burgundy base and then it has this like green blue shift to it. It's lovely. I haven't really used too much. It's, it's literally brand new. I got it like a few weeks ago. So we are gonna keep that. And I do have groundwork as well, but that's in my work makeup bag because that's the one I use the most. Now, super shock. What are we gonna do with you? There is a couple that I am gonna get rid of, but there's a few that I am gonna keep, a good few, because I really, really love my super shock for formula. Let's see. I think I'm gonna get rid of you and I'm gonna get rid of you. I need to swatch them two together and I think I'll keep everything else. Simple. <laughs> um, so the ones I'm gonna get rid of is Smash, which is this like really nice gold, but it's just not special enough for me to use over other things. I've got this like semi matte. This one's called Pretty Lucky. It's a matte one or like a satiny one. And I just, I'm just not gonna use that. These two, let me swatch these. So I've got Nillionaire and this one is called Thirsty Girl. They are different ish so let me see if i prefer one over the other or neither oh yeah very different when they're swatched this one's so much darker so millionaire is this one here and this one is thirsty girl i think i'm gonna keep millionaire because it's got like pink sparkles in it and i really like the look of that so we'll keep millionaire and i'm gonna get rid of thirsty girl surprising getting rid of color pop but i am i'm one of those people where i'm like oh it's a really big brand and i don't want to get rid of it even if i'm not really using it but you know you do have to be a bit cutthroat sometimes so we're going to keep you 
Um, Ritzy, we or Ritz, we are definitely going to keep because this is one of my favorite ones. You can see I've hit pan. It's just like that wet look and sparkle over the eye, especially over groundwork. The Mac Paint Pot, <gasps> such an easy eye. It's so beautiful. Um, I'll have to keep this. This is Fizz. I'm sorry. Like, how green are you? Super green. Too green almost. Um, I've got this other kind of teal one. This is Under the Sea. This is from the Disney collection. The first Disney collection that they've done. Beautiful watery teal. Lovely. We'll keep him. I don't pick these up too often, especially for videos, but I do like to have them around. This one is A Whole New World, which is like a lilac with sparkles. Um, gorgeous. This one is from the Jasmine one. That other one was Ariel. This one is Jasmine. Um, let's do the other Disney ones. This one is Almost There, which is from Princess and the Frog. This is probably my favorite one of these ones because just do this over like a brown pencil and it's so beautiful. And then last one here is Be Our Guest, which is the Beauty and the Beast one, which I had to get because that's my mom's favorite movie of all time. It's not super special, like there's nothing really going on there, but it is a nice color. It's got a slight kind of violet sheen through it as well, but I have to keep it. My mom would disown me. And then I've got this one, which is Kelp Me. Oh, I bought this when I got my uh, press glitters and look how gorgeous and bright that is. It's so bright and shiny. I love it so much. And then last one for this section is Fantasy, which is a beautiful, but really vibrant purple. Very hard to get a purple like that vibrant. That's that shiny as well. So really, really happy to keep that one. So let me tally up and then we'll get back. Okay, so this is our to keep pile. This is our getting rid of pile. It's not a huge difference really, but you know, here we are. So we started off with 24. We are getting rid of nine and now we are down to 15. So I'm happy. I am happy enough with that. I will get it. I have space now. I have a lot of space for stuff. Okay, so we're on to stick shadows and things like that basically. Oh, that's a liquid. We don't need that. We'll do that in a second. We'll do liquid. So we are down to 17 stick shadows and we're going to get through these really quickly because I'm not going to keep a good few of these because I don't use stick shadows that often. So let's do the miscellaneous ones. This one here is from Ico. It's the fat eye stick in satin and the shade is, I can't see a shade. It's a lovely kind of taupey sort of color. I think my mom would have really liked that as well but I'm not gonna keep that so you can go. And then I've got this one here, which is from a brand I don't know. Hang on, what is this one? I don't know where this is from. Oh, this is from Catrice. We'll stick this with the Catrice ones because we'll get to that in a second. Okay, next up we've got Colourpop. That was the only miscellaneous one because that other one is from Catrice. So what is this color? I got these in mystery boxes. My mom loves these um, in the like teal and blue ones because she's one of those that always wears a teal or a blue eyeliner on her lower lash line but these are lovely. This is dry. <laughs> I've had this like a year and it's dry. What the hell? Not even a year. I've had it like nine months and it's dry. What a lot of crap. Okay, that's gone in the bin. So what's this one like then? Does this one still work? That one's better, but it's not a color that I would use. So that first one was warm up and then this one is hot stuff and it's lovely. They're a nice texture. They dry up quickly apparently, but um, I don't use colors like this, especially not in stick form. So that can go as well. Again, my mom might like it. I don't know. She's not really into that kind of color, but maybe. Um, Catrice then. So we've got this one here. This is one of those with like a sponge applicator here and the product is like embedded in here. My mom will probably like that. So I'm not gonna keep that. I'm, like, I just don't use this kind of product. Another stick here from Catrice. That's lovely and creamy. Really nice. But again, I just don't use these kinds of products. I, I never gravitate towards them. I've kept a few of these and I probably will keep a few of them, especially the NYX ones. And that's like a nice highlighter sort of shade. Again, I don't use it, so I will get rid of it. This is gonna be going down quite a bit. This is one, like a double-ended one, one that's more sparkly and one that's more of a matte highlight sort of shade. Um, let's go up here. She's nice. This side, this one is like your kind of bright pinky sort of tone in a matte finish. Nice, but no, don't use it. Now I've got Kiko and these are a few different shades. This is number 01 and this is like a shimmery white. Very creamy, nice, but again, don't use it. I know there's one, I think it's this one that I'm probably gonna keep because this is like that super shock shadow. It's like super creamy and sparkly. I'm gonna keep this one because it's a color that I do love. I love that kind of color. Okay, I'm going to go for a neutral brown. Got this one, which is number 25. That last one was 05. This one is 25. This is more of like a taupe. I think I'll keep that one. I like that kind of color. There's not much left in this, I don't think. But 
um i will keep that one because that's really nice kind of reminds me of the number seven one and then this is i'm gonna get rid of this is number 28 it's just like a neutral with a slight sparkle in it as well but i i just i'm not gonna use a color like that oh we are like getting this down i've got two <laughs> so far i'm keeping two now my next ones i'm gonna keep a few of these because i do like these as bases this is my very sad and well loved and dirty um milk jumbo pencil which is just like a white white base great for like making colors pop and things like that or especially shadows that you think aren't going to work as well for you that's a great one so i'm going to keep that i've got this shade rust which is just like a hopper like a rusty kind of color i think i'll keep a few of these nyx ones and um, this one is pots and pans these swatches are all over the place but just so you can kind of get an idea and also for me to see if i want to keep it um, this next one is dark brown. I love this one as like a base for like a dark smoky eye. Super creamy. These work so well. And then I've got black bean, which is just like a creamy black. Again, lovely for a base. And then this one is Rocky Mountain Green. Really vibrant green. Love that. So we're going to keep all the NYX ones. We're going to get rid of the other ones. I'm going to keep two of the Kiko ones. So we were 17. We've gotten rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we are keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I got rid of nine. Yes. Okay, on to liquid shadows. We have a good few here. Um, I don't know how many I'm going to get rid of, to be honest with you, because I do love my liquid shadows a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, here we go. So a couple that I think I will get rid of. So we've got this one from Kaleido Cosmetics, not Kaleidos Makeup. Kaleido Cosmetics. This is the Astro Light Highlighter. You can use it from on the face as well, I think. Um, it's kind of just like a coppery sort of shade like that I'm never gonna get that on my face because I'm never that dark and also I'm not gonna use that kind of color on my eyes so you can go this one here is urban decay it's one of the liquid moon dust shadows it's in the shade chemtrail it's gorgeous but it's chunky and it just leaves like chunky bits like i like this kind of thing on my inner corner but it just kind of leaves a bit chunky. oh it's pretty though she is really pretty i was gonna get rid of this i think i'm gonna keep that i didn't mean to i'm sorry it's actually really pretty once i swatched it i'm sorry <laughs> one thing i'm gonna get rid of this is the trina the shadow paint and this is in the shade it doesn't say it's basically this deep deep blue like navy blue it's just not a great texture um i have my p louise bases there um i could do it a color like this in P. Louise but I'd rather go for P. Louise base because they're creamier but this kind of dries right down and it's not that tacky so as a base I wouldn't really use this so I'm gonna get rid of that my P. Louise bases I'm gonna keep all of them all of these so we have got the shade OTT orange hint of mint touch of frost rude boy red vivid violet winter rose and bada black I only recently used this one as well I really love my P. Louise color bases the P. Louise actual base like the one that is like the concealer looking one creases on me like nothing else like honestly i don't know how anyone uses that as a base without putting a base underneath that, and then it still kind of creases on me and no i don't use too much trust me these i think are slightly drier texture and i prefer that but they're still creamy and they're still tacky and i love them i love this red as well i need to use that more but yeah i love this especially my black for doing my really dark smoky eye or mapping out shapes and things like that on my eye with a black love that kind of thing so we are going to keep all of them then we've got all of our liquid shadows here um the only ones i can see myself getting rid of really is this cash beauty one and honestly i think that's it <laughs> i don't think i'm going to do well in the liquid shadow front so let me just go through anyway and show you what i have here so we have got mac dazzle liquid shadow in rayon rays which is that gorgeous kind of warm deep brown sparkle that i love we'll keep him i've got beam time which is the most famous one um because it's so beautiful it's like a soft rose beige sort of shimmer love that i've got diamond crumbles which is basically like unicorn farts it's the only way i can describe it it's so sparkly it is a bit on the chunky side but it's okay kind of topped over things or as an inner corner it's fine and then i've got this one which i don't know if they do anymore this is flash and dash it's the most gorgeous sparkle sparkly gold it's great over top of things just add a really high sparkle to it they really need to bring this back if it's discontinued i'm not sure i've got these two from be perfect and this is which one is this one green room which is kind of like a soft kind of like sage khaki kind of color and then this one is deep house which is a kind of blue silver gorgeous super sparkly i love a sparkly liquid shadow this is the one i think i'm gonna get rid of from cash beauty this is pink pearl 
let me give her a swatch it's just one not it's metallic more than sparkle and it's that kind of copper shade that i just don't go for i don't go for copper i kind of gravitate away from copper for some reason even though technically copper is perfect for blue eyes which i have but i just don't go for it. i do love this though this one is called gold dust this is so pretty and so sparkly and I love like a fine sparkle as well in my liquid shadows. Like it's on the sheer side, but just adds the most gorgeous sparkle. I've got this, which is a matte one, which I don't normally go for, but I mean, look at the color. Here we are. This one is from Sample Beauty and it's in the shade Oomph. And pop this here. Look at that color. I need to use that. Definitely need to use that more. I don't think I've ever used it, but I love it so we're keeping it and then i've got all the rest of these are from beauty bay so these are the crystal no sorry living my best light liquid crystal shadow this is in the shade opal which is like a soft pink i have used these a few times and um, we've got this one which is a bit more of a fiery peach and this one is peach quartz has like a pink and a gold reflect in it and then i've got this one which is fluorite which kind of has that like blue brown shift to it as well i love that i've got these three which came out with the M -M 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 mitchell collection with the palette and everything like that before he even had his own brand and i love these these are basically liners but i would use them as liquid shadows this one is called metal not metal metal so you can see like really fine brush but i like them as like even inner corners or as like a sparkly liner she's so pretty really like glistening when it's on the eye we've got mama which kind of has a pink and gold sort of shift to it just trying to find space here that's quick and easy because i'm not fussed about how these swatches actually look i just want to give you guys an idea of how pretty they are and then we've got mirror which kind of has more of like a teal pink shift to it Go up here then lastly this one is just from beauty bay and this is my most recent one of these and this is so pretty this one is called moonstone she's gonna get her own little part on my hand here we're gonna put you right there look at how shiny that is so beautiful absolutely love that one so we are definitely keeping that so we only got rid of three out of that whoops okay i'm just gonna finish off with these here because i'm gonna organize now in a second so in total we had 127 products in this drawer we got rid of 77 and we are now left with 50. I got rid of over half of the things that was actually in this store, which I am very, very, very happy with. I think I'm going to be so happy with how this organizes now. I'm going to have a little bit more wiggle room where I put things and I'll be able to see everything more and more likely to actually use everything as well. So I'm going to go organize my drawer and then I will pop up a picture of how the drawer actually looks as well once it is organized. And that is all. So once I pop the picture up, we will get back to past Carla for our outro. Alrighty guys, so that is it. That is our declutter. Did we do well? I don't know, because I haven't filmed it yet. Obviously, like I said in the beginning. So that's kind of the way YouTube works. You're back and forward. You're, in, you're going forward in time and you're back in time. Who knows? It's like time travel. But I'm very happy to get back into reorganizing. I'm very happy to get back into just curate my makeup down to what I want it to be, what I actually use nowadays. There's a lot of things I just don't use anymore. I'm so happy to finally get through it. I cannot wait to declutter my blush bronzer and highlighters oh my god am i excited for that and my palettes as well my palettes need a good overhaul trust me but my blush bronzer and highlight drawer i am very well blush drawer and then my bronzer and highlighter drawer very excited to get into those you'll also be able to hear the fact that i'm a little bit sick right now <laughs> i do apologize for how nasally i sound but i'm very nasally my nose is tickling i'm after sneezing six times already before i finished this outro and i feel like I need to sneeze again not gonna lie but I try to edit out all the sniffles and all the coughing and all that kind of stuff. I just have a cold. It's fine. Doing makeup makes me feel better though. I feel great right now. So I hope you all enjoyed our little declutter of our individual shadows, liquid shadows, cream shadows, all that jazz and little tiny little palettes. And I mean tinies. Did you see those sleek palettes? They're tiny. So I want to know down in the comments below, are you in the middle of your own declutter? Because it is the beginning of the year. Everyone does a little spring clean. Everyone kind of does that. You don't have to declutter, by the way. But also, do you have any of the products that I decluttered? Or do you have any of the products I'm keeping? Let me know down below. If you did like this video, give me a big thumbs up down below. It's the quickest, simplest, and easiest way to give me a little bit of support to get me around for people. And also let me know that you like the video and I will continue to do many more. And don't forget to subscribe down below to see many more videos coming. We've got our next declutter coming sometime soon. Who knows? <laughs> At this stage, 
I'm sick, who knows? And also we've got our monthly build your own palettes coming, which is what I filmed today. We have got more palette videos. You've got more chatty videos. We've got some fun videos coming up. And I did buy a palette. Just letting you know, I did buy one palette and it will come soon. And as I said in the beginning, my Instagram is linked down below. I post all my up close eye pictures and full face pictures of all of my looks. And my TikTok is down there for a little bit of extra content. If you want to go give both of those a follow for me. And that is it. That is our declutter. Thank God I'm back into this series because I really need to do it. It's really annoying me. <laughs> so I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye.